say or the, the season, the age people used to say, if you live long enough, you'll be able to identify with this song. Mm -hmm. I'll go.
God. Yes, here am I. Oh Lord, here am I. I'll go sit me. I'll go. It's all about posture. Hallelujah. Posture. Posture. Are you ready? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is in the midst. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. It's not like unto our God. This is the day that the Lord has made. Hey, hallelujah. And be glad in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes, Lord. Praise. That's right. Amen. This is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day that we've not seen before. Thank you, Lord. That we will never see again. That's right. So we must make the best of Obby. it. Yes, Lord. We're in the land of the living and truly. I give honor and praise our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. There is nobody like him. None, none. Hallelujah. Amen. Like Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ is the greatest. He's the greatest. Uh, not only the greatest man, he's the greatest being. Jesus. There is nothing that is comparable unto the Lord. Nothing. We can search high. We can look low. Jesus. We can search the heavens. We can search, search the earth. We can Amen. search the sea below. Yeah. Yes, there is Lord. nothing remotely close to the Lord. Amen. God, and we're certainly glad that we know who He is today. Amen. 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 Because there are many people that don't know who Jesus is. Amen. Amen. But everybody ought to know. Hey. Everybody ought to know. Yes. Everybody, everybody ought, ought to know. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. is. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know.
you ought to know. Everybody ought to know. Amen. Everybody ought to know. Yes, Lord. Who Jesus is. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, this is an old school song yeah. with new school flavor. Uh huh. Hey, Amen. Same message. That's right. And we have to praise God for this day. We have to praise God for knowing who hey. Jesus is. Knowing who He is. Hallelujah. I'm so glad I know who Jesus is. Now, before we get into the word of the Lord this day, I do have a presentation that I want to. Uh, do at this present time. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. And uh, there's a presentation that I want yeah. to do. And I'm going to call up our children. I'm going to call them up by name. Amen. And we want to, in this moment, we want to honor our children. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We want to honor our children. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. And, uh, this has been a trying uh, school year with the pandemic and with them going from yes. being in class to online and not being physical, uh, physically there in the school buildings with their teachers and students and just uh, having to adjust to a whole different system and a whole different world. Right. And then we want to just show them that we appreciate them. Yes, yes, them, yes. We, Pushing them to be the best that they can be. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is that alright? Amen. 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 We want to push them in the name of Jesus Christ. And we just want to show them a little token of our appreciation. Amen. For the wonderful work that they are doing. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. And we don't want the school system to be the only system. Amen. That shows their gratitude and their support. That's right. That's right. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We want to make sure that they know that the church family is rooting for them. Yes. Amen. 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 Amen.
is to Nehemiah first. given to Nehemiah. This certificate is awarded to Nehemiah first for excelling in reading and overall academic success. And this next young lady we want to call for is Lyra Blair. Academic achievement. This certificate is awarded to Lyra Blair for greatly excelling in reading and spelling. is awarded to Caitlin first for excelling in mathematics and overall academic success. She's also been awarded $25 
achievement this took it is awarded to Ella Willis for yeah. her yeah. basic Achieving things, we wanted to stand to our feet and applaud all yeah. That's right. It is what we do to them and for them now that we determine the future. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. And so I want to talk today from this particular topic, raising and protecting a generation. Amen. Amen. A generation. Thank you, Lord. And, uh, I want to just talk about how important and how special the youth are. Amen. Not only to the world, but to the body of Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And oftentimes, our young people, our children get overlooked many times because we feel like they're too small and they're not knowledgeable and they don't understand uh, what's going on. But to the contrary, the Word of God does not reveal that to us. And, um, and so, uh, I want to uh, I want to minister today from a particular passage of Scripture which isn't preached on much. And, um, and we may have heard about him, and we may have heard about him, yeah. amen, but we may never have heard about it as much as we should. Mm -hmm. We hear the preaching about Esther, and, and uh, we hear the preaching about uh, David, and you know, when he defeated Goliath, and we hear about Samson, we hear about all these grown, strong, mighty people, 
Amen. But from the book of 1 Kings, the third chapter, Amen. Uh, the book of 1 Kings. I want to uh, I want to talk about uh, something. The book of 1 Kings actually is going to be the, 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 the 22nd chapter. Yeah, excuse me, 1 Kings. Thank you, Jesus. 22nd chapter. All right. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We want to just read briefly about a young man. Amen. Who became king. Mm. And he became king at a very young age. Amen. And uh, we want to uh, read and we want to admonish and encourage amen, our young people from this story amen. Uh, on this day. Second Kings, the twenty-second chapter. Let's begin at verse number one. Amen. Second Kings, second twenty-second chapter, first verse. Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign, and he reigned thirty and one years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Jedidiah, the daughter of Adam of Bosca. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, and walked in all the way of David his father. And turn not aside to the right hand or to the left. All right, we can stop there and then we'll run over to Second Kings, the twenty-third chapter. Amen. Read verse number twenty-five. Amen. Second Kings, twenty-third chapter, twenty-fifth verse. And like unto him was there no king before him that turned to the Lord with all his heart and with all his soul and with all his might. According to all the law of Moses, neither after him arose there any like him. All righty. Man. Amen. That was enough right there to shout over. Jesus. King Josiah. Ah. King Josiah. Yeah. An eight year old uh -huh. king. Uh -huh. An eight year old king. The Bible says that Josiah was only eight years old. Mm. Yes, sir. And he reigned for 30 and one years. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. And even in his reign, he was still a young man. Amen, yeah. amen, amen. He reigned until he was 39 years old. Amen. The Bible says that you have to read Chapters number 22 on through chapter 23 and read uh, the full detail of the life of King Josiah. Yeah. Amen. But I read verse number 25 out of chapter number 23 because this was a very profound statement. Yes, sir. Yeah. That an eight-year-old king had a heart that was turned toward God which made him to be a king that was unique above every other king. Amen. Uh, Amen. The Bible says there was none before him and neither was there any kings yeah. after him yeah. that was like him. That's right. This speaks to the character of the young man. Jesus. Brother Jeffrey, nobody could top him. Amen. That's right. That's right. Nobody. Yeah. Could even be comparable to him. That's right. We hear that David was a man after God's own heart, yeah. and oftentimes we we strive to want to be like David, yeah. who was a man after God's own heart. But even David is not comparable to Josiah. Amen. Amen. Come on. Come on. Jesus. David was a king that preceded him. Amen. And the Bible clearly says there was not a king like him before. After him. After him. That's right. 
Right, the story of Josiah, this eight-year-old king, is very profound because we would even begin to think that it was his upbringing in his household yeah. directly that was a direct result of his conduct, yeah. his behavior, right. his attitude right, right. to want the things of God. We would think that it was the direct influence of his home and those that were around him that made him be a king that stood above all other kings. Yeah. But, Brother Williams, if you read the Bible, the Bible says his own father who preceded him as a king was a wicked man. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't that something? Yeah. Ain't that something? And he did that which was evil in the sight of God. That's right. Amen. That man was so wicked and so evil that his own people, Mother Jury, conspired against him. It was his own people, his own servants that killed him. My Lord, my Lord. Because he was such a wicked king. So truly you would think that it was the direct result of who his father was that caused young Josiah to be the way that he was. But the Bible reveals that it wasn't that. That Josiah's father was a wicked man. But not only was his father a wicked man, the father that preceded him was a wicked king. In fact, it was his father and his grandfather that took the kingdom from worshiping the true and the living God and had them bowing down and worshiping idols. Praise the name of Jesus. They had taken the people of God and brought them into idolatry, had them serving and worshiping false and idol gods who had no ability to lead them or to guide them or to direct them. They did everything that was wicked in the sight of God. Spiritual climbing, my Lord, in the land, my Lord, Jesus. He it is that sees wisdom, wisdom, things my Lord. in the house of God that have not been have not been repaired since the days of former kings. Yeah. He looks at the house of God and sees that the house of God it has a bunch of preachers. The house. It is my Lord. That Josiah that calls forth the high priest and tell him something got to be done. My Lord. What's going on in the house of the Lord? My so Lord. He begins to get carpenters and he begins to get masons. He begins to get the bricklayers and all of these individuals yeah. together. And he begins to go out on a journey to repair the preachers of the house of God. Time would fail me to read it, so I got to sum it all up for you. And so while they are preparing the house of God to be restored and to be repaired, one of the servants goes in and finds a book laying in the midst of a bunch of stuff. And, and he doesn't know what the book is. And so they go back and tell young king Josiah that they found a book and we believe it is the book of the law. And so they begin to investigate and yeah. begin to find out what is this book and what is written in so they go get word from the Lord, and when they go get word from the Lord, they get word from the Lord by a prophetess by the name of Hoda. And uh -huh. she tells them that this truly is the word of the Lord. Uh -huh. And that's what happened to the people and to the land because of their abandoning the true way of God. It is Josiah who, after hearing the words of the book, the Bible said he rent his garment. He immediately became humble before the Lord. And he said, Oh, you're That's right. Amen. 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 
is an example that you don't have to be the product of your environment. No, sir. That's nothing to do with how you were raised. Okay, man. That's absolutely nothing to do with whether or not you had a father or whether or not you had a father in the home. Because sometimes we think because I didn't have a daddy growing up that, that I have the right to be a hoopla. Uh, because I didn't have a daddy that would talk to me. Because I didn't have a daddy growing up, I can't become anything. But I ought to tell you today that the devil is a liar. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Whether you have a father or whether you don't have a father, at the end of the day, we all have one father. Yes. Jesus. My father wasn't there, so I can't be anything. Mm. But God takes young Josiah and puts him into a position of authority yeah. to prove to anybody that you can be somebody. Yes, yes. And even though those around you might have been hard-hearted and stubborn and stiff-necked and rebellious, you don't have to follow the same footsteps. That's right. And the thing that I love about the Lord is that God, even if it's not in your immediate family, God Yeah. 